What's happening guys? Today I have a very special video for you. I got Jay on the channel who is somebody who just got into digital marketing about six months ago. So basically Jay bounced around to a bunch of different jobs and a lot of them he didn't like, a lot of them were dead end, tried to go to college but decided it wasn't for him. And then during the pandemic, unfortunately he ended up getting laid off. Finally, he stumbled upon digital marketing and he never looked back. And he very quickly got a phenomenal job offer where he's actually working with Microsoft. And I asked Jay a bunch of questions that people actually recommended that I ask people in interviews down in the comments below. So if you have any other questions, go ahead, put them in the comments below. There's a good chance that either I will respond to them, maybe Jay will jump on to respond to them, or maybe I'll just ask them in future videos. So go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump right into this one. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have another guest guest on the channel, very special guest. I got Jay to come on. He is a digital marketer. He lives in New York and he has a really cool story and we're going to go over that. So I'm super excited to ask him questions. So thank you, Jay, for coming on the channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for having me. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. So you know, you're at the beginning of your story. Can you kind of just give a background of before you even knew what digital marketing was or you discovered digital marketing, just kind of give a background of your, maybe your educational experience as well as like different jobs that you worked at? Yeah. Um, so yes, I had, I think my twenties were my last uh, year for me. Um, definitely. I was trying to find myself and it was so many, I think, trials and tribulations that I had during my 20s, trying to find something, like try to find something that will well suit for me as well. Um, yeah, I think when I started off, uh, in college, definitely I was, you know, I think I had a passion for music, which I was trying to do music production. And I think I saw the competitive fitness as well. It was, you know, it was hard to get into. And I think that kind of killed the art for, and the creativeness for me. And I think everyone was telling me, that, you know, I think you should just find a job that actually will pay you well. And I kind of took that with me. So ever since that, I've been really miserable with, you know, with a lot of things, you know, with the jobs that I had and also the careers that I was trying to get. Then from there, I actually end up trying to be a medical assistant. And then I checked in a salary, how much you're going to make. And I'm like 30K. I'm like, that's not, you know. I don't think it's worth it for two years just to make that have that salary. I was not happy. I think I wasn't happy about the career I was taking. I think I started seeing a lot of my friends from there. Like I started seeing people already graduated to four years and I started seeing like they wasn't trying to get jobs. There was in depth. And I think that kind of sparked for me that I had, to, I just, I just stopped. Honestly, I stopped, um, stopped going to college. And then that's when I started having these dead end jobs. Then also I became a dental assistant as well. That's when I knew I was not, I was not built for healthcare. I was like, no, I'm not, <laughs> I, I didn't like healthcare at all. I, I, I had to deal with, it was so stressful as well. I had to deal with, you know, with people's mouth and, you know, just yeah. look, I'm like, no. <laughs> I, just I, feel you to, there. <laughs> I just had to stop I actually I stopped going I, I just stopped going honestly I was just like no I can't do this no more I remember when I discovered digital marketing during that time I was going through Facebook it was late at night I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm always a guy I, I'm a guy that always stays late up at night but I was going through Facebook and I saw my feed and there was a I knew this girl she was from my high school and she posted a video saying that she was proud of her husband and this and that because she was my high school. And I, I think I told Sefa, his name is Nicholas Battle. And he posted, a, he saw, it was a 46 minute video and I saw the whole thing. And he talked about digital marketing. This is new opportunity, you know, your college degree or anything like that. And he also went to the, I, he actually went to the similar path as me because he worked in Metro PCS while I also worked in AT&T. So I kind of could relate. I was like, okay, I got inspired. I got really inspired by that. I really started to just, the next morning, I started just researching digital work because I never heard of digital market. I never heard of SEO. I never heard of PPC, social media. Like, I mean, of course, social media, but social media, you know, paid search as well for that. Um, email marketing. I was like, because honestly, I had a bad, um, how can I say this? I had a bitter taste of marketing because I always thought of marketing as like a multi-level marketing. I think people pitch me, uh, like people always, always, people actually 
you know, I don't know where, you know, I'm faithful to say like, hey, how are you doing? Let's meet up. And but when I go over there, it's like a multi, you know, marketing scheme, whatever that they try to put me yeah, in there. So yeah. like, I had a bitter taste of marketing. And when I heard you know, I'm like, oh no, I don't know. But let me just is that like a scheme? Is that like a like a pyramid scheme or something like that? Or a scam? <laughs> or I'm like so I was just really iffy about it at first because I had a, a sour taste of marketing. But once I started researching and reading the books, looking on YouTube as well. And then I started looking at his uh, uh, sets, um, testimonials as well. And I'm like, honestly, I was like that for three months, for three months, just, just look at the testimonial, just looking at it, researching, trying to make sure that I'm not going to get scammed. That's my biggest thing. Hey, that, that, that is good. That is good. I always tell everyone, and I, I mention it, it's good to be skeptical, right? It's good. You know, there's lots exactly. of claims out there on the internet. The thing about Seth's course and the reason that I partnered with him is because if you look on his LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, um, and uh, Instagram, he literally has yeah. thousands of reviews and testimonials, right? And a lot of these exactly. people, you could watch their video testimonials. You can watch their full YouTube videos. Um, a lot of the people you can just look up on LinkedIn, right? They're, that's their full name right there. You can look them up. You can add them. You can ask them questions, right? So the, it's right. just an abundance of evidence that he's getting people these amazing results that he is. Like it's overwhelming evidence. Right. There's literally no argument even that he's not getting the results. But absolutely, you should be skeptical when you hear this. You should you should go and, and look this up and, and look into that information for sure. Um, now, one thing yeah. I wanted to really quickly ask you before we go on is you mentioned that you did a little bit of liberal arts. You went to college. So um, I, I think you also mentioned that uh, it didn't end up costing you very much, but you decided uh, against that route. Um, but uh, what would you just say overall when it comes to like a college degree in terms of like how much they typically cost, how much people are going into debt uh, and whether they're worth yeah. it or not? Honestly, I always tell this to people, um, you have to research what the career you're going to get into. Um, because and I think for me, you know, okay, it's really, if you're going to become a doctor or any of that, of course you need to go to college. But how I, I always tell them, I feel like you should go to another country for that, <laughs> you know, for, doc, for being a doctor. <laughs> because honestly, it's 100K that you're going to be in debt. I have so many friends of mine that are just 60, 70 to 80K. And that's sad, honestly, because mind you, a lot of my friends are can buy a house or anything like that because they're covered in debt. And um, I don't know. But I, I think for me, it just... I think I kind of dodged the bullet for me to go to a four-year college because I was thinking about going to a four-year college. And um, and I don't know. I think that stopped me. I, I just basically, I just, I had, I, I think I kind of let go of what everyone was, my, my, especially my parents were thinking of me. So I just like, no, nah, I don't care what they think about me no more. I'm trying to do what I'm going to do. But I had, I, I knew I was going to find something that was going to cross in my path and make myself, because I was like, I'm not going to make 30K a year or 25. I can't do that. And on top of that, I had a son with me. So, oh, you know, gotcha. yeah, I had a son with me. And so it was really challenging for me as well for that. You know, I always tell people, honestly, we have a free university, university, which is YouTube and, you know, Udemy or any other different platforms that we have out there. If you're going to go for, you know, other, you know, like a doctor or anything, you know, I usually, I mean, I mean, it depends on the circumstance that you are, you're going through right now, honestly. You know, there's a lot of people, especially here in New York, um, mm -hmm. a lot of people are, don't, you know, have that financials, you know, especially to buy a plane ticket or anything like that. I mean, yeah. they can't go over to the country and, and they're going to be a what. But I mean, at the same time, it's not fair, you know, like there's a lot of people that just, you know, they're stuck. So they don't know what to do. But I always, I tell everybody, honestly, I think you should be in the tech war right now because it's a booming industry. And, you know, I don't think you need a college degree at the moment right now. Because a lot of these tech right. industries, don't, you don't need them. Honestly. A lot of you careers don't you don't. Yeah, so many careers you don't need a college degree. You can definitely get into them with just a portfolio exactly. of experience. And you can create your own experience like Seth teaches. Exactly. In his course. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so it took you like three months or so to kind of get into, to make the decision to buy the course. Exactly. You looked at a bunch of testimonials. You looked at all the evidence. You decided to buy the course. 
Um, and let me know how, how was the course exactly? Like, like just give your kind of like maybe a little overview of what the course entails and how, what your experience was, was like with it. Yes, of course. So I, I bought my, I bought the course, right. I think around 2019 around there, I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's when I started, you know, I think there's a time when I was working in at and still in at and yeah. And I think, you know, I kind of was, you know, started like, you know, studying, you know, what I was doing. I was looking, I was actually checking the whole video and I also had a notebook with me that I still have to this day right now with me. Actually, I have it here that I still have it with me to this day since 2019. And these are all my notes that I've been having here. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. But, yeah, I still have it with me regardless i think it's useless up because always google is always updating but yeah mm. <laughs> but yeah so uh yeah honestly i've been studying i've been hitting the i've uh, been hitting the books i've been looking at his videos I, i've been just repeating the videos all over and over again i also checked on youtube and um and then this is the time when there was a new management in 18 team coming along and they fired basically everybody there including myself I couldn't stay focused on what I had to do. So I had to look, had to look for another job. So I took that, you know, I had to put that away for now for a bit, just to find another job because um, I think I took like a, a three, four months hiatus, you know, because I had to find a job and that's when I landed into Amazon. When the pandemic came, I was like, that's it. I'm not coming back. I'm not doing these jobs no more. I'm not doing this. And I have time because we're in the pandemic and that's when I went, all in on digital marketing. Um, and that's when I took an uh, internship actually. And the oh. internship helped me out tremendously. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Got it. So, so you, from when you started really taking it seriously to when you got the internship, was it a paid internship? No. It was okay. Unpaid. Okay. Got it. So yeah. when you, when you started taking it seriously to when you landed your first job offer, how long was that? It took me 10 months. 10 months. Okay. 10 got months. you. Got you. Okay. 10 months. That's, yeah. Definitely. That's, for sure. That's pretty good, especially since at the time, like everybody was getting laid off, like the, there was a huge issues in the economy and stuff. So that's actually, that's yeah. actually really good. And then, yeah, I think like in three days, they called me and there was, uh, I was accepted. They gave me an offer letter for 60K. And, and Whoa, my, yeah. 60K, yes. your first job. 60K, Holy my first job, 60K. Cow. I couldn't believe it. That when I saw crazy. the offer letter 60k yeah you know that definitely changed my my life and you know with that type of you know salary because and also remote you know and also I was working with Microsoft you know I'm like wow like everything started coming into me you know so like wow. it was just so it was just so you know overwhelming for me I was like wow like you know I have I work with Microsoft you know as in my client and then on top, I'm getting paid this much. And this, uh, you know, they was really welcoming me as well too. They, it was, a, I have an awesome team. And I think from there, that's when I started learning a lot more. I started learning about billing. I started learning about planning, mm -hmm. uh, learning how to talk to clients, um, learning how to write reports. Um, Cause I, I mean, I was, I'm used to doing the optimization for this different campaigns and, you know, things like that, but and they gave me like a budget of 200K <laughs> just for that budget too. They gave me two accounts. And, and to me, it was crazy because I was working in Microsoft Teams, you know, so I had to like actually, you know, play with that account as well. So yeah, honestly, it was so much. Everything was all coming at me. And so, I was just like, okay. So, so just to kind of uh, clarify things a little bit. So one of your main complaints with, with the former jobs that you had was basically like the work-life balance and just kind of like your job satisfaction in general. Like you, you weren't very satisfied with the jobs. And then so you get yeah. this new job that not only pays really well, but talk a little bit more about like what did it have much better work life balance and job satisfaction compared to the past jobs that you had? Definitely, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. My work life balance got way better. It's not like the other jobs that is really cutthroat and everything. You know, it's really um, the other jobs that I had. They want to hit your quotas. They want to do this. But if for me and my team and Densu, honestly, it was completely different a lot the, right the people here they care about your career 
they want to see you develop. They want to, they want you to be knowledgeable in this sense. And they also open for you to, you know, to expand different careers. Like if you want to be an SEO, sure, of course, we'll teach you SEO. They'll take the time to teach you that as well. Mm -hmm. Um, the people there was the people that I worked are really awesome with me and they also pay well. I mean, in mother job, you know, of course, they're not going to pay well as well. It, it, it was, it's, it's a whole 360. I mean, 360 for me, honestly, uh, with the other jobs that I had, honestly. And I think for me, the most important was the work-life balance. Um, I think the work-life balance for me is, is it's, it's important for me, honestly, because now I have time for my kids. Um, now I take my son to soccer practice and, you know, would you say it's, it's really difficult to learn or is it just something that kind of takes time? You just have to sort of get used to it. It takes time. I will say to people, it, it takes time. You just have to really, what I do, honestly, I love the recordings. Usually when they have a training video, they record. So mm -hmm. I will actually emulate that, what they're doing. And then little by little, you start getting the hang of it. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, like when I, st I, I didn't know how to do billing, billing was completely different. I don't know if, I don't know, you're at Prisma and, you know, I think those are like the billing stuff that I had to do, jot down numbers. So I had to learn things like that. I also had to learn some new formulas of Excel. So I'm like, okay, you know, so I'll just, I think it takes practice, honestly. It's all about practice. And then even my manager told me, like, honestly, we learn by F enough. That's it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what he told me and he's like and that's how I learned too as well and so he was understanding so he told me like look you could you know mess up anytime you want but this is how you're gonna learn regardless gotcha and I was surprised I was surprised by his approach when he told me that and I was like wow and you know he's the type of person that actually cares about his employees that's where you learn the most honestly is making mistakes really like in just about yeah. any area of life I'd say that's where you learn the most I, I just wanted to quickly ask you just overall on the course was it worth it? Worth it, hundred percent. Definitely, hundred percent worth it. I told Seth. I thank Seth many times as well. Um, I'm trying to do bigger things now. Honestly, um, I told Seth because there was a video that he put out that he's in Thailand, you know, and I want to do that. He's traveling <laughs> all over the world. He can live wherever he wants. Exactly. Though, yeah, I exactly. love it, man. I love it. He's living his life. He's you living know. his best life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I told Seth about that. And I told Seth, hey, look, um, I think my main, the next step for me is because I'm planning to live in another country. I just wanted to point out, it's it's kind of rare that people want to have that lifestyle. I also love that lifestyle. I want to travel around and live all over the world. That's what I'm doing right now as well. So for the people who also like that lifestyle, one thing that um, is really awesome is like, if you make like, let's say 60K a year in, in the US, yeah. That's a good salary. But if yeah. you're making that in another country, in another like country, Thailand, exactly. Philippines, these other countries, you, that's like making almost, a, that's like making 500K a year. That's like making a million dollars exactly. a year sometimes, it is. right? It is, yeah. Because your money goes so much further when you live in these other countries. So if you're open to that kind of lifestyle, if you're open to traveling, going around the world, I know a lot of people aren't because you're away from your family and stuff like that. But if you're open to that kind of lifestyle, a 60k a year job you live like a king or a queen like you live like royalty 50 60 exactly. a year it's it's insane yeah so i i would just want to ask you like to somebody who is on the fence they're either you know they're they're thinking about maybe doing digital marketing or maybe they've decided to do digital marketing but they're not sure whether they should do Seth's course or go to college or do a boot camp uh or whether Seth's course is worth it or not what would you say uh to somebody who's in that situation Honestly, I, like I did before, I would say have time to research, you know, it's, it, you know, I'm not, you know, trying to be biased here, but I, what I did, I was like, let me not look into sets videos no more. Let me just look into YouTube instead, which is not going to be biased. I will say, honestly, if you want to start off, just honestly create a little website and play around with it, you know, try to do some PPC work and if you like it or not. So dip, you know, dip your toes in there to see if you like it, try to do content creation with SEO. And if you don't like it, then forget it. You know what I mean? Just don't go for it. You know, I mean, but I, 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 for me, I will say just talk to people, talk to people who have testimonials as well. That is awesome, man. That is so awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for coming on the channel and telling your story. It's really inspiring story. I think a ton of people are, are going to love to hear this and 
And uh, yeah, thanks so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. No, no problem, Shane. I really appreciate your time, man. Really. Thank you.